Hey, this is Matt. I'm going to be going over a couple tools that you're going to be needing while you're depressurizing and finding a leak in your radiant system. So, one of the most important tools you're going to be using today is going to be your handy dandy air compressor. And uh, as soon as we isolate out the circuit that is in question, um, then we're going to be hooking it up and taking the water out of each circuit by circuit. The second tool you're going to be needing is uh, a pressure gauge and a means to hook up your air compressor up to the system. And I usually use a low cost gas cox with a Schrader valve and always a pressure gauge up on top because you want to know uh, how much pressure you're losing or if that circuit is holding tight. Um, another thing is you never want to go past probably about 100 pounds, even though we test that at 100 pounds. Um, you don't want to go past 100 pounds because then you're just pushing on too many things and might be causing more problems than what you're trying to fix. Another type of hookup I like to use is a peach port and a Schrader valve. And what a peach port is, is you can then insert your pressure gauge into the top of the peats. This is just a MI or a pipe thread to a hose. Then what you would then use is a washing machine hose kit. On your manifold over here, you have ports in and ports out right here. It doesn't matter where you hook up to. So basically what you're going to be doing is hooking up your hose here, pushing air in, going across, going over to the circuit that you need, pushing the air through, and then it will be pushing the water back up until the air gets to this return manifold, and it goes up and out, up into a secondary hose, then into a bucket where you're going to be capturing all the water. Okay. After you get all the water out, then what you want to be doing is putting pressure onto each circuit looking for your leak. So what we have done already is we found out that the leak in question is either in 1, 5, or 1, 4. And why do you have two per each? Because you have a supply and a return. So we already pressurized that 1, 5 to about 60 pounds and it's holding. In 1, 4, uh, we pressurized it up and it started to leak out and uh, we found it. So um, in a few seconds I'll go over um, the flooring and um, how to track down your lake.